Yo! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> What's good, peeps? Episode number 46. We got Clutch. We got Bo. Welcome in. Let's go. Yo, yo, yo. What's good, SP? <laughs> You do? What is it? Yeah. Uh, it's a razor. I think it's a black shark. Never heard of it. Uh, Never heard of it. I need a new one after I catch you my last one. <laughs> I gotta see. Uh... Hold on. I don't think it's good. Hold on. I think I just tweaked my shit on accident. I should be able to hear both of them. I'm a genius. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was just muted, that's all. Okay. <laughs> that was me. That was on me. I was asking you. If, I was like, "Yo, hazy." So what, ha- what ended up happening was I, um, I just hit my. Uh, you know how when you hit like the re the profiles and like you switch something mm-hmm. without saving it, and then you go back to a profile and it, it just reverts you back to that st- last save. That's what I just did. So oh, yeah. the, on the uh, Go XLR. Yeah, I fucked up. Let me. Oh uh, uh, yeah, that's a rough one too because you don't even realize like. Oh, the no dashboard idea. for that's like easy to use, but it's not super clear. Not super clear, you said. <laughs> yeah, it's like you don't understand. Like it's like it doesn't say like make sure you save it, right? So I've done it plenty of times where like I've changed shit around, didn't save it, shut my computer down, and came back like the next day and was like, "What the hell's going on?" Yeah, no, I understand what you're saying. Let me. Can you talk real quick? Yeah. Oh, I can talk all day. Fuck, that's yep, crazy yep, yep. loud. Nope. <laughs> Wait, I can't can, hear it in stream, but... Yeah, nah, can you, uh... Let me see if this... Check, check. Turn it The clutch is a little quiet, but I think that's just his settings on his new headset. It might be. Uh, I think we're good. <clears throat> Yo. It's quiet for me, too. <sighs> Thank you for all the Fuck. follows. Uh, Papa Geek, hey, it's sexy. Thank you for the follows. I don't know if I missed anything else, but appreciate the raid. SP coming in with a 96. Is that what I saw? It's heavy, bro. It's heavy. It's a long way from where we came, where we started. That's for sure. For sure. Oh yeah. Been growing ever since too, man. Papa Geek, thank you for oh. the thank you for the biddies, man. Been growing ever since too. Let me just say what's up to chat here. Diamond Dave, Puggle, Papa, thank you for the hundred. I'm blinking. I'm blinking, Papa. Biggie, uh, TD, Dopey, Diamond Dave. P. Fraser, Cod Lady, Persephone. Hey, it's sexy. Two. It's good to have you guys here. T. All right, let's get into it. I'm sorry if I miss you uh, in chat. Yo, Ragnarok, what's good? Mom, who has spoken? Hey, it's sexy. Did you guys just started a hype train? Holy shit. Oh, no, it's close. My apologies. Um, Carnage Raw with the subscription. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I should just reset my audio while I have the opportunity, but I'm not gonna. What have you guys yeah, been up use to? Use chat. Use chat for that. Be like, hey, chat, test it all out. <laughs> Yo, Clutch, thank man, you for the 22 busy. months. Busy doing what? Work, bro. Work. I take on too many pro- projects. Or I feel like they're projects. I don't want to say projects, but I like to do shit. So, like, I got the, you know, we got the podcast, right? I'm building a computer for somebody. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Uh, you know, I got the fishing tournaments, two jobs. It's, it just never stops. Yeah, I get you. What about you guys? I mean, there's not a whole lot new going on with me, man. I, I'm looking for a job right now. I'm looking for regular work. Looking for yeah. any at home jobs. So if anybody knows of any at home jobs, send me those links ASAP. Please. Mama has spoken. Thank you for the 100 bits. You're a legend. Bro, I got an idea. What? What's your idea? Dad, daddy daycare. Daddy daycare? No. Oh. <laughs> no way. Do it. And babysitter. Yeah. 
You think that that's an appropriate thing for me to do? Yeah, why not? I mean, I, I like babysitting kids. I've been doing this since I was a young and I think and we do it like me and Brittany as a side hustle. <laughs> you do we it? For real? We, we, not like a, like a daycare, though. But I, I babysit a lot of kids, though. Like, we got somebody we, we babysit weekly. Two, actually. How much money does that pay, though? It, the thing is, I mean, you to set things up properly, I mean, you could go like an official way where you could probably get like decent amount of money, probably like 14, 15 an hour or some shit. But uh, ladies and people, we know somewhat. So we get like 10 an hour uh, per baby. And we work it out. Straight cash. It's not like, you know, fancy to it, but uh, we need the money, so. Bro, but you, you really get $10 that. an hour, $15 an hour for babysitting? That's as much as they're paying more. people to work. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Can y'all talk about IRL stuff? We're talking about IRL stuff. <laughs> we're talking about, IRL. <laughs> hey, we're yeah, talking about kids and work and how much fucking money it is. You pay your babysitter pay $100 me. for one date night? I have somebody done that to me too, but it was too good. It's expensive, no? It is. <laughs> it off. It really is. What he just took his hat off. He's like, of? fuck, man. That means I can't go out anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, fuck. $13 an hour, a kid getting 10 bucks. 13 year old kid making $10 an hour. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You could definitely. I mean, I think it's. I I think it's gonna be location. Like right, you're like the, your area is probably gonna kind of depend on the price or to pick the price. I know around here, clutch, you could definitely get more than ten, fifteen bucks an hour. Yo, for real, like in Westfield or whatnot. Like I'm telling you, but... bro, ten dollars an hour, they'd be happy as fuck. They probably wouldn't trust you though. Nah, it's people that I know. Like there's people that would do it too. Like you have to look it up. I think what's the site called? Brittany was on it. I'll find out for you. My, my wife is there's like a Facebook group actually that's like and they like I think they they share like um like if somebody's bad like they'll share the reviews like if they're good because like there's like a big mom group I know my wife is in a couple of them shits. That's another thing. The kids are a lot of work. <laughs> Let's go. People pay that money and shit. You know? Kids kids are a lot of work. I can't uh I can't think about having. And you don't want a discount babysitter. Yeah, you don't want a fucking... No. You don't want somebody who's yeah. going to be whacking your kid around and... Exactly. I mean, they got they got cameras now, right? Yeah, you can. I actually... I have cameras, but all outside my house. I don't have cameras inside my house. You got well, babysitters that come in? I, I got... It's family, family, friends. Yeah. It's my father-in-law, like my neighbor that's known my, my wife's family for like four... Like her family's known... They've lived on the block. We live on the same block. And uh, they've been so it's like my her oldest brother and their oldest brother like first started hanging out there. So they've been like the family's been friends for like 40 something years. So I, it's not people I don't, I don't have random people. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like I see too shit. much crazy shit on the news, like you hear too much crazy stories about fucking kids dying in daycare and shit that I like. I don't know. I'm sketched out with random people watching my kids. Oh, I agree. Bang. Big facts. I agree. My mic just turned down. I found my settings. Let's go. <laughs> I did save them. <laughs> bang, bang. It's always good when you do that. Yeah. Except I forgot to do that a few times. <laughs> but uh, speaking of real, other real life stuff, I was just looking at the schedule. The 12th, February 12th, so two weeks. Yeah. Roughly. Uh, it's a Wednesday. You can't do it? I think it's the Wednesday, right? Or not the 12th, the 15th. Yeah, I won't be here. I'll be in California for work. Nice. I think it's nice. I don't, I don't 100% know yet. It's my first, like, work trip. So there we're going go. to some, like, nice-ass hotel, but, like, I have to give presentations and talk to people. So you yeah, don't actually but, know. The day is just at but, night, you know, you can be able to do your thing. Well, I was say, like, no, well, at night, that's the thing. So it's, it's paid for, bro. I don't have to pay a dollar. Hey. No flight, no car service. Unless I want to go out at night on my own. But, like, the first night we get there, so I'm actually flying. We don't have to be there till like, late afternoon, early evening. But I'm actually leaving my house at, like, 6.40 in the morning, going back in time. So I get there at, like, 9, and I'm, like, 9 Cali time, and I'm going to fuck sleep. <laughs> and then I'm going to wake up, and they're taking us out to dinner that night. And then I think the next day, it's, like, all fucking meetings, like, all day, all work hours, and then another dinner. And then the next day, we're going on some catamaran cruise in San Diego Bay. And then the next day, I go home at like 7 o'clock in the morning. 
This is my first work trip, so I don't know like what's gonna happen. This is for the new shop that you work for. This is yeah. This is for the the new place. Uh, so Acer, Acer is paying for all this shit. That sounds fire. It does, so though. it sounds uh, mad cool. It, it sounds cool, but I just don't know how much of it's, it's gonna be work and how much of it's gonna be like cool. Well, what kind of work would they expect you to do? Oh, presentations and just talking to people. Really, I don't you think could... I'm gonna have to do too much of my actual work like that I do every day. But then you gotta get pass for that. It's more like a networking and then present bunch of numbers I don't know it's my first it's my first one so I don't really I don't really know what to expect yet no I get it my manager be going on trips and whatnot it sounds cool like everywhere from like Florida to like Texas they actually want me to be in in Austin this week I told them no (laughs) how much do you get paid to travel I don't get. I just get my regular salary. Like I don't get paid to travel, but I don't spend a do- like I don't spend a dollar to travel. Car like so. So you get nothing extra, but you just get nothing, nothing extra, extra, and you're away from your family. I living in a hotel extra, room. Yeah, pretty much. I don't pay for the hotel. Don't Fuck pay that. for. You're flight, making the same money school. regardless, right? Yeah, but it's like so. The job position had travel like as part of it, so it's like kind of optional. So like I said, the the this week they wanted me to go to Austin, and I was like, "Do I have to?" And they were like, "No." So I was like, "I'm not going." <laughs> the California trip is is more expected, but it's also going to be like expensive ass dinners and shit. So I was like, "Yeah, like I'm gonna." Yeah, but it's tough because like my wife, no, but my wife wasn't happy because that's that's Valentine's Day that I won't be here. Ah shit, that's right. That was like the big thing. I was. It's funny because I was like, good. Uh, I told my manager, I was like, hey, you realize what weekend this is on? Like, what, what days? He's like, yep. He's like, and I'll tell you what probably happened. He's like, they probably called and asked about the week before and the week after. And the hotel probably told them, we'll give you a really good price if you do it these days. And they were probably like, all right, no problem. <laughs> so that's how I guess business works. <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see <laughs> like the shift in my whole demeanor. Once my daughter's born, because it is a messed up world. And the bigger, the bigger she grows, like the bigger the baby gets, the closer we get to the time she's born. The, um, cause like now when we see her, dude, she's like chilling. Like there's a whole baby up in there. Oh, you know speaking I mean? of which, my, my wife's friend is pregnant. Are you getting the 3D? The 3D pictures? You have to go uh, to a third-party place for them. Did you know that? Oh, uh, no. I didn't. I never got them. I, we never did that. And you didn't I didn't have know it back then, like, huh? <laughs> well, I said they didn't have it, but it wasn't, like, super common. But, like, I keep seeing it now, and I'm like, that shit is crazy. How are they going to get it back for Lucas? But I, I, uh, I was under my dad. Her, well, she was under her dad insurance, so they covered it. That's crazy. Yo, the the bills for for I'm de- I'm dead serious, bro. I'm gonna make a TikTok. I just have to figure out if I'm gonna. I gotta take the pictures properly. Like I have to scan the pictures and then put them onto my phone, so that way I can show them properly oh. and zoom in on them. You know what I mean? Rather I got than you. um cam scanner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say like to all of the people in the UK or people not in America. How expensive is it to have a baby? Here you go. This is literally, I don't even know if we're considered middle class, bro. You know what I mean? Like, what is middle class nowadays? Well, lower. I think it's. I think we're low, like lower middle class. What is it considered? Yeah, yeah. Like, what is the rate of, of income? I, I don't I don't know. I think it's super. I think <laughs> I was hearing like under under like 250K, under 400K. It's still considered middle class. Because you have to think, 400K a year is a lot to us. But how many people are making over that? 90k it what a joint income like for a household is is considered uh middle class yeah we ain't doing that (laughs) not a no fucking way household yeah hell no Ninety thousand. that was crazy we'd be living large with that kind of money that's uh, more money more problems bro but that's true too it does that that is how it works for sure i'm just saying if we uh, were to if we were to add that kind of income to our lifestyle things would change for the better like crazy you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, uh, 
I used to make. I used to bring him just just north of that by myself. Yeah, that's and fire. And I can bro. tell you, it was. But at the same time, you start getting used to living a lifestyle, and then if you lose that job, like so, like I was making that in real estate, right? And it was nice. It was great. And then the market started to go down, and I don't, you know, I get paid commission, right? So the income started to go down, and then it's harder to keep up with because you get used to spending. Yeah, you know. you've built a lifestyle around your family yeah. over these, however. To buy a house based on that shit, yeah. So. No, I totally understand what you're saying. <laughs> I'm trying to look at some some websites, see what they say that middle class is. But if you think about it, bro, in this kind of economy right now with everything that's so expensive, dude, it's that's literally like it. 50 cents an egg. 50 cents per yeah. single egg. Well, do you know why the eggs are so expensive? I heard, of, I I heard that the this, fucking thing... Yeah, blood cost, they kill like a shit ton of chickens, apparently. What happened? A flood? Like, so, like, so there's, there was a there was an egg like factory that clots. burned down. There was also like a, so something with eggs causing blood clots. I, I think some of the like there was like a a lot of chickens that had there was some kind of disease in the chicken, so they had to kill like a lot of chickens. That's what somebody was telling me today. Flock disease. Is that what it's really called? Flock uh, disease. I don't know. Somebody, somebody at work was telling me about this shit, and I was just like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Marix, Marix disease, Marix, poultry flocks. All right, you look at flocks disease. I'm looking at middle class. <laughs> <laughs> Shot to both. I was like, no, no. Why are eggs so expensive? That is crazy. How yeah, it literally long? says that they've gone up 50%. <clears throat> eggs price have broken records in recent weeks. The singular reason that eggs are increasing is the avian flu. Yeah. A sustaining so, bout of the avian flu. Facts. So it says New York, wow. New Jersey, uh, low end middle income is 56K and high end middle income is 169K. That's in 2020. 169? 169K is high end middle class. Middle class is that high? That's how what's, broad what's it is there? from 54 yeah. to 169? Yeah, that's what this is saying in, in New York, New Jersey specifically. Wow, dude. Like Washington, Arlington is 74K to 221K, which is high if you ask me. Yeah, I know that's uh, household, I mean, but still like 54,000 household. That's like two people making $17 an hour. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it really ain't. Maybe less than that. Maybe like fifteen, fourteen dollars an hour. Well, no, I think like a, like I think of, I that's think like sixty like a, grand household. Like, you no, know, fifteen bucks an hour after taxes, I think is twenty eight. Remember, yeah, I think it's about eight. I thought it was say thirty. I don't know. I did the math once, and it was a while back. I was doing the math when I was trying to worry about working. Wartime entertainment. Thank you for the first time chat. Welcome in. Yeah, dude, eggs are fifty cents a piece right now in the stores here. So I wonder how long it takes to, to fight back this kind of a thing. You know, like how long is it? How long does it take? I don't know. Well, yeah. Um, it depends, I guess, on how many eggs they sell versus how many eggs they hatch. What I'm saying yeah, is how long does it take to replace a chicken, a healthy oh, chicken? Oh. And how do you keep them from getting sick like the other chickens? And can I also say, after we're done talking about this, I really want to talk about the Jake Paul Tommy Fury fight. I am fucking jacked for the Jake Paul Tommy Fury fight. I don't know if anybody else is into boxing and you know fights and shit like that, but the, the, does anybody follow any? And I know Clutch knows about Jake's fights because we've been watching them. Boo, boxing, munchie. <laughs> <laughs> it's celebrities. I love the celebrities fighting. I love it when they fight too, especially this one because this is Tyson Fury's little brother that's been talking shit about being a great boxer for mad long. Mm -hmm. And you gotta imagine he has been doing it his whole life, right? He has been. He's been doing it his whole freaking life. You hope Jake gets smashed? Yeah, chickens aren't laying eggs very well. There's a spe speculation that chicken feed as well. MMA does is rock. MMA is my favorite. Chicken lays an egg a day. I didn't know that it was just one. But that's crazy. So if you have 20 chickens, you get 20 eggs a day if they're healthy uh, egg, like chicken egg, uh, egg chickens, right? 
Because not every chicken lays eggs. Is that correct? I actually was talking about this, right? Because here's, here's, here's the reason. Here's where it gets confusing to me. Right now, hear me out. Technically, a chicken lays an egg without the help of a male chicken, right? Like a rooster. They just lay eggs. How does an egg hatch into a fucking chicken? Like, how does the male fertilize an egg? You know what I'm saying? Because otherwise, that know, otherwise that would mean that chickens just make babies without no reproduction. They just fucking asexual. Asexual, right? Is that is that how it is? I don't know, dude. I'm from I'm a city oh boy. <laughs> yeah, for real. I don't know shit. <laughs> I don't know shit about that either. Rather watch Rocky than watch boxing. What? It sprays the eggs. The rooster sprays the eggs. I'm about to go spray <laughs> some eggs. Who said that? The rooster sprays the eggs. So that's how they fertilize it. It's like the they spray the oh. egg. No, it doesn't. Never mind. I don't know shit. I'm not <laughs> reading nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that's wild. Just walking, walking there. For yeah, Yo, but the thing is, is <laughs> that if you think about it, right? It's the truth. There's a there's male there's male chickens and there's female chickens. <laughs> well, this is taking a turn. <laughs> <laughs> so, what were you saying about Jake Paul? <laughs> the motherfucker is about to fight Tommy Fury, which is the the younger brother of the heavyweight champion of the world, bro. And Tyson's a beast, bro. Him being Deontay Wilder, both fights was amazing to me. So he has to know how to box. But then Jake Paul, too, is nice, man. You can't underestimate it at this point. Thank you for that music. You can't underestimate Jake, for sure. You can't you underestimate can't. Jake. But here's the thing, right? Yeah. If you're going off of pure, pure, like, logic, logic says that Tommy Fury has been boxing his whole fucking life, right? His older brother is the heavyweight champion of the world. Literally the best fighter ever. You know he's training with his brother. You know he has been training with his brother. You know that they spend time together. Do you really believe for a second that Jake can deal with someone like that, having never fought someone who has ever been this way? Right? So, so you realize that Jake is picking Tommy based on how he looked in a, in a couple of fights that he watched, and because he's like a handsome dude that was on uh, Love Island or something. I forget what fucking love show he was on, but he was on reality TV. Oh, so it's the, it's the, it's the money fight. People are going to tune in for that shit. Yeah, he picks for the faces. I mean, that's, if you think about it, too. That's Mayweather. He's taking notes. He didn't really ever fight a boxer, if you think about it. But that's what well, I'm saying. Just, like it's Tommy also Fury is a MMA le- fighters which don't really box. And Tommy really Fury people. is only his hands. Yeah, his so whole like, life, and he's young. He's 20 fucking four or some shit. He's a kid. He could he could be the one to do it. He's a he goddamn kid, man. I hope he Wait, is, is, uh, is Paul undefeated? Yes. Yeah, Jake Paul's uh, undefeated. He and never he's lost. knocked out five out of the six. And actually, he's knocked out everyone he's fought because he's fought Woodley twice. And he knocked him out one out of the two times. I'm pretty yeah. sure the first fight went to decision. The second fight, he knocked him out cold, hard. Like, I mean, people were shocked. But then he just fought Anderson Silva. They're, he's fighting people to sell fights, right? Like, he's not, and they're smart fights too because these guys are at the same level as him, but they're not as healthy either, though. They're older, right? But they're just as inexperienced with just boxing. These guys want to throw kicks and yeah, shit like, when so, they're in there. So, Silva's an MMA fighter. Yeah, yeah. man. That's like when um, McGregor fought um, Mayweather. Like I was, I'm surprised he did as good as he did against Mayweather. McGregor. And I, yeah. Or and Logan I, um, Paul. Uh, M- McGregor. Because <laughs> he's like a he's you know he's MMA. I want to see, I was like I really want to see because because um, Mayweather was like talking a whole bunch of shit after and it's like bro I want to see you go do MMA. 
You wouldn't know what to do with yourself. There is no way. Yes, all past their prime fighters. All past their prime fighters. All retired MMA fighters, a retired fucking NBA player, and a YouTuber. Um, Deji, fucking uh, KSI's little brother. The one that just fought Mayweather in a fucking exhibition. Nobody's going to watch Mayweather's exhibitions anymore. Not after that fucking thing. That thing was a joke. He beat up a fucking kid. Like, a kid... Did you see that? No? No, I saw that? No, I don't, I don't really watch. I've been seeing his fighting anymore. Nothing. I didn't know he fought Deji, to be honest. He fought Deji. He literally beat him up. Like, I believe it. He, I think he does that for the money. Those little exhibition matches and shit like that. He did one a couple years ago with some guy in Japan or Taiwan or something like that. Oh, yeah. He was whooping their undefeated fighters' asses over yeah, there. Yeah, and it was like, he, I, he's doing it for the money at this point. Like, bro, like, why? <laughs> Disrespectful. How much money... Uh, how much money could you need, bro? Didn't he get paid, like, the thing he is, made crazy money already. Yeah, but the thing is, is that he lives a crazy lifestyle, actually. I would say, more money, more problems, right? Yeah, <laughs> no, for sure, but I don't ever think about it like I'm going to go flex if I got into some money. I don't really, I'm not that, li- I don't do that. I don't live like that. Pretty, pretty, uh, even when I've come into a couple dollars, it's not like I've fucking flexed out, you know? I totally understand. Yeah, I, I really say this. I mean, th- those guys definitely flex out, right? Because because it's a different kind of money. But when I say so when you make when you get used to making a certain amount, it's like you figure, okay, I can get this kind of car. This is what I can do with a house. Yada yada yada. I want to say that's a flex. But like, no, getting getting like rapper and like this boxer money. That shit's a flex. Like buying fucking like McGregor flexes all day. That's all. <laughs> He sold his uh, his whiskey, right? He doesn't even own his whiskey anymore. I don't. I don't even know. Yeah, no, he sold his whiskey. I don't think he does shit, but make fucking uh, Instagram media videos now, now, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think he does anything but make posts about his family and money. I mean, shit. If I was him, I would too. I, I would find a way to invest it. I would just chill. I wouldn't spend it all. Like I wouldn't. He's. I wouldn't be buying renting all yachts and shit. Yeah, I wouldn't be doing that, but you couldn't pay me a so, uh, work either. I really want to hear what Tommy has to say about this fight, man. I know that this is what time is it? It's not it's only nine twenty three. I really wanna hear what Tommy has to say, dude. It's only seven minutes long, so I'm gonna play this because he I need to hear this shit. A trillion pounds I've seen a lot of to take a dive. Different videos. You couldn't pay me a trillion pound to take it easy. I'm going in there, and I will tell you now, this fight is not going the distance. Tommy, glad to have you here in the building. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. For a fight that's been, we were just talking, two, about two and a half years in the Very making. 26. Yeah, two and a half years in the making. Um, reminder, a little bit too long for my to liking. Yeah. I got to add it to the announcements. Reminder. Yeah, I'll actually, I'll put it into the into the thing. They said they have been talking about this for two years. I've been wanting to see this shit for two years. Facts. I've definitely been following this. I've watched every one of Jake Falls fights. I'm not, I ain't paid for a fucking one of them. <laughs> but I've seen every one of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I've seen them all. And if I missed it, I was watching it the next day. Um, so I'm definitely into it. I have a lot of props for the kid, man. I really do. Like, he is taking on tremendous pressure fighting in front of people that want to see him get knocked the fuck out. You know, like, people want to see this kid get knocked out. People want... The only people like him from the YouTube stuff, right? Uh, He was on the Disney Channel. He was in YouTube. Um, He's made music on YouTube. Like, he's just a... He's an entrepreneur content creator, you know? But, yeah, he has a following. (laughs) Vine. Him and and his brother came from Vine. Uh, Yeah, but, like, is it his brother, Logan, that nobody likes? I thought... Well, Logan did something in Japan, and he got canceled, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember hearing about... My my son was telling me about that shit. (laughs) Yeah, well, he definitely feeds on people's hate, for sure. So let's hear it. So uh, I think we're about four weeks away, and I'm just happy. I've been training for a long time, because I knew it was eventually going to come. You know, he's had two lucky escapes from this fight. And he's obviously not smart enough to take them. You know, I had a broken rib the first time. What can you do about that? The second time, denied entry into US. Can't help that. Third time, well, he's been begging on and begging on for it. So, you know the saying, be careful what you wish for. Well, he's about to experience that first hand. He should have took the two lucky escapes that he had and played it off like I didn't want to fight. Because believe you me, I did want to fight and I'm here. I've been training for weeks and weeks and months and months. Been sparring world-class people in the gym three, four days a week. I am in the best condition possible. 
And it's just going to be amazing because on the night, you know, he prances around like he's Canelo Alvarez and he's the king of boxing and this and that. On the night, he's going to get humbled in a very bad way because for this fight, there's no, you know, emotions running through this fight for me. It's purely business, but... I don't believe that for a second. And I believe the way I'm shaping up in the gym, the the things I'm doing against season fight... I don't believe that for a second. Do you believe for a second that this... Because, Clutch, I know I can't talk to Bo directly, right, because he ain't following it, but do you believe for one second that that Tommy's not emotionally involved in this? Oh, hell no. He's definitely emotionally involved, especially the way... What I've seen is Jake Paul trolling him in so many ways, bro. You for guys the last seen, two years. Yeah, two years, but like recently, because now this is more announced. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's all this post. He just had a baby. Who did uh, Tommy? Tommy yeah, I think he had a baby with his wife or whatever. And Jake Paul has the balls to write in his Instagram post Oh, the baby's just in time to be born to see you get knocked out. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, some petty shit, bro. Yeah, that, that's. That's what's different about Jake Paul. I mean, everybody hated him because he's such an asshole like that. So I, I definitely think Tommy's emotionally evolved, 100%. I think he's emotionally evolved, too. It doesn't mean that he doesn't want to hurt him, and it doesn't mean that he's not focused. But to say that he's not actually angry, right? Mm-hmm. Like, like, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying he's afraid. I'm not saying he doesn't want to hurt him. I'm saying that he's angry. And being angry clouds judgment, man. You got to be clean. I know that when I'm angry, I get blurry sometimes, and that shit's not good. You know, you get blurry when you're angry. To the people who've been fighting all life, it doesn't add up very well for Jake Paul on February. See, 20th. so that's what he's saying. He spoke a little bit about business. He's been there. fighting no all his life. Jake Paul is he's a good businessman, mm. but he also takes this boxing career that he's built very, very seriously. He's out in Puerto Rico training. He's got his own gym. When you when you see that, he says the difference between you and him is his his dedication, his obsession with the sport. But mm. how would you respond? I respond in just because my movements aren't plastered over the internet and I'm not doing stuff for views. I have been up every single day at 4.30, 5am for the past 15, 16 weeks putting miles in. In the pitch dark, my coat on, my hat on, miles and miles and miles down that road. No headphones. He's all that I'm thinking about. And at the end of the day, I put my work in every single day. And I've not just put the work in for the past three years, four years. I've been doing this since I've been six years old. You can't be that clever to get in the ring with me because I'll tell you now, you couldn't pay me a trillion pound to take a dive. You couldn't pay me a trillion pound to take it easy. I'm going in there and I will tell you now, this fight is not going the distance. There's a lot of egos at play. There's, there's been a lot of so, bad blood, some, some, so. some bad words said between you both. But who actually has the most to lose? Because he says that it's you have the most to lose, or he has the most to lose. But I, you know, I believe, obviously, with the Fury name, it could potentially be the other way around. Do you know what it is? There's no pressure on me. And there never has been um, while I've been boxing because I've said to absolutely everybody that's ever interviewed me, what about the pressure? What about the last name? Hold on a minute. I'm not Tyson. You know, I'll never be Tyson. A Tyson comes along every 100 years and it'll be another 100 years before he comes along again. He's not wrong. I'm just trying to be the best version of myself that I can be. My life is all... That is a crazy, profound statement. And that is so... That is so profound... In itself, to be uh, to be able to recognize it, he's like my brother's special. He's like, there's I, I can't be like my brother, no matter what, no matter how much I try. My brother is the undefeated heavyweight champion of the world. Right now, he beat Deontay Wilder three times. Well, two times in a draw, right? Two times in a draw, but um, he's beating everybody, bro. I got. He's not wrong. Already. Everything I dreamed of right now, even before this fight. So to be sat in this chair, you know, with everything that's going on, this is all a dream for me anyway. So our dreams come true for me. So at the end of the day, I've got nothing to lose. Absolutely nothing. He's the one with the talking and he can beat Canelo Alvarez and he can beat Mike Tyson, he can do all this stuff. At the end of the day, I'm here. And he can't beat me. He can't. He's not even good enough to lace my boots up. Yeah, he's got a load of money. He can buy his own gym, he can buy trainers. But guess what? He could have Angelo Dundee in his corner on February 26th, and he still ain't beating me. Because just because you can have all these famous people around you, just because Tyson's around me, you know, and he's around me in training, I'm not going to go out there and box side Tyson. I can't go and beat Deontay Wilder. It doesn't matter who you've got around you. It's about what's in here. And I know this is 10 times bigger than his, and I know when it comes down to it, he can't beat me in a fight. Not through Monday to Sunday, he can't beat me on a fight. There's no way in the world 
because even if I never train for this, my heart alone will get me through a fight with him. Not a problem. He's useless. He's big. He's even stiffer than me, and I've got a load of muscle on me. He can't move out the way of a shot. His boxing fundamentals are awful because every fight's the same. And genuinely, when you're messing with proper people who can fight in the gym, and then you go and watch tape on him, the man is a pure white-collar fighter. He does not know how to fight. I'm not 50 years old. I'm not 40 years old. I'm not an MMA fighter. All the little tricks of the trade, he's going to find out on the night, and he's going to be absolutely puzzled. And I'm going to be there, right in front of him, laughing, saying, you got exactly what you wanted, didn't you? <laughs> he's going to do nothing about it. Hope, do you believe bro, that once you beat that shit, you're going to get back to <laughs> what you would say is real boxing, boxing real fighters? Yeah, definitely. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, all these lucrative fights are out there, you know, are clear up. But my sole, you know, goal since starting boxing has always been the same, is to be a world champion. You know, and I do believe I've got what it takes to be there and get to that level. And I do believe everyone writes me off because, because of Love Island, you know, there's a lot of jealousy, there's a lot of stuff going on. I'm going to beat him and put an end to him once and for all, and everybody can thank me for doing it. And then guess what? I'm going to get back on my route, win some titles and go down in history. And then I'll bob me out and I'll leave the sport. That's my goal. It's a great plan. Listen, you, you've spoken about Tyson a few times and it, it would be wrong of me not to mention the fact that Tyson's come out and said, listen, if you do not beat Jake Paul, you better stay in Saudi Arabia. See, How does that make you feel? Does that not pile pressure on you? No, definitely not, because I know my family. Oh, shit. At the end of the day, <laughs> he's just talking quietly, shit. we're all laughing in the background because we can't believe how stupid this man's been. You come from a long line of yeah, see, fighting men. He's like, they, they, they're talking shit together. It'd be like, uh, it's, you know how I think about it now? Ever since, um, <clears throat> ever since we created SP and we've been doing stuff with SP, I've realized that nobody ever knows like really what's going on. Right. Like unless they were to come and talk to us, all people have is an impression. Right. They have what other people tell them. And that's the only thing that we get from these places. Right. So so it's like it's easy for me to correlate the two. That's how it is with the news. Right. They're owned by a place. That's how it is with these different companies. They're owned by a place. They have objectives. I never really understood that before. You know, that 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 there is people that control these things that have ideas. You know what I mean? Yeah, like the yeah. news is Crowd fighting yeah, men. The news is one of the worst because it's cut. It is controlled. It's controlled by money, right? Like, okay, which news channel? And not even channel because the same company owns multiple channels. But which company can get the most views to make the most money mm. from everything? And that shit is fucking dangerous. Sports. <laughs> it's like literally everything right now. Yeah, we all real life shit. I'm actually uh, not that I like really care about fighting but i actually kind of want to watch that fight dude that fight's yeah. gonna be awesome i can't wait logan signed yeah. a deal with the ufc for his prime drink yes he did i saw that i saw that and i honestly was i was excited because they were teasing it like he was signing a fight deal right they were teasing it like like hey oh, you got wrestling oh, yo yeah. you got you got boxing not saying no right like you seen that video did you see that shit I seen that. This uh, fucking I prime drink. An announcement. I thought he was gonna get into a fight. That's what he did. It was a prime drink. Oh my god. Yeah, it was just a prime drink. I'm putting money on the true boxer fury. I mean, are you actually yeah, putting money on it? Money. Who is the underdog in the fight? Oh my god. Is there any places to put a bet on it? Uh, probably. Like already? At MGM or something, probably. Or I don't bet. Like, I don't I don't gamble, so I, I wouldn't even know where to look. But it's like, damn, man. They'll probably go to AC and do it, no? Like, the Bro, they're fighting. No, they're now. fighting in Dubai. So I don't know how that shit works. They can't Dubai? fight. Really? They can't fight. Yeah, because they can't fight in America. And um, he can't get into America. He can't get right? into America. No, he can't get in America. And then oh. for for I think for low uh, for Jake to fight in the UK, he'd have to get something that he doesn't have. And Dubai is this neutral. <laughs> Dubai is this neutral territory, bro. It really is. It's become this neutral place where it's like it's like Switzerland. You know, like that's where they do. Yeah, the so why can't why can't he get in? Who his something up with his passport with gang association and or some shit with the passport, gang ties oh, him I and agree. his brother, and his father, so, all of them. Where are they from? What do you mean? They're uh, they're I think they're from the UK, right? They're some somewhere in the UK. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know to be. If I knew, I wouldn't answer. 
I just I seen Tyson fight. Not t- yeah, yeah, Tyson fight. I'm looking forward to this one, man. To be honest, I hope. Tommy Fury, the is job and like you know, he does the job and kind of shut Jake because honestly, so he's, yeah, okay, he's British. Wrong. Oh, British, got it, got it. He's British. Jake, said yeah, what? Jake never fought a boxer. Jake, Jake's been, been these listen. Old people, Jake is fighting professional but, boxers in his gym. Do not get it twisted. They are bringing professional boxers, boxers that have been fighting their whole life, just like Tommy. He is paying people to spar with him. Good money to come in there and get knocked the fuck out. Here's the thing, though. Are they actually doing background checks and getting legitimate fighters to come in there and put hands on Jake, or are they placating him? Who the fuck knows? You don't know. The kid is naturally talented, right? You can be good at something. Deontay Wilder started boxing in, like, his late teens, like 19 or some shit. Yeah. Became the heavyweight champion, like, two or three years after he started boxing. No no joke at all with that. That's serious business. So think about it. And, and honestly, like, his fights, too, like, like it's reason he's winning, you know? Like, most of these people should be able to knock him out. But he's he's a decent boxer. His, his, his <laughs> work in the ring. And he is like, a boxer. Landing more punches and everything like that. Like, he's not only winning by knockouts, but, like, with Anderson Silva, he won by decision, you know, with, with the points. He, he's nice, man. He's nice. Oh, right. So he just... He, wait. So how many fights does he have now? Is it six or seven? Because I forgot that the Anderson Silva fight six. went to it went to a decision, didn't it? Yeah, it went to decision. So he, he didn't he didn't knock him out. So it's I think he got a knockdown. He got a knockdown. But yeah, but he didn't knock him out. It went to decision. He won by points, which shows once again you're a natural boxer. And Anderson Silva, Anderson Silva to me was always a boxer too in the MMA ring. Yes, like but it's still amazing. different the way you move. But, all of it, exactly. like the way you can put your hands on the floor, the way you're like, the way you can kick and, and dodge and get out of the way, the, the, all of it. So, but we're not even talking about training, though. I'm talking about genuine sparring that is, a, it is like actual eight rounds of sparring, 10 rounds sparring uh, sessions to, to but for him sparring, to, they, Do they go to the point where they try to knock each other out? People or? get knocked out in them fucking, in them trainings, man, in those, in those, yeah? in that sparring oh, shit. shit. Them, them shits get real. People get knocked the fuck out in sparring all the time. It's a real problem. People go concussed because of it, right? People get concussions um, from sparring. So they actually start doing uh, a lot less hard sparring and more light sparring. They use the headgear. They try to keep you from... But you still got to... You got to practice. You got to do it. You got to... How do you practice a fucking fight, you know? <laughs> like <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, definitely for sure. Don't mind me, I'm watching videos. You should probably get some tips in the way, you know? Well, you probably should stop watching a video and tell us what you're watching. I'm watching fucking Tommy. There's this video comparing Tommy's training and Jake's training. And what do you think? I think fucking Jake's going to get his ass kicked. <laughs> Let's see it. Send it to me. Send it to me. <laughs> yeah, I want to see it, too, to be honest. Because supposedly Jake's been training hard. I haven't been watching anything like this. so. I mean, this is like, you can always take this out of context. Right? Absolutely was, take it out of context. Like, how, 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 like, at what point in their training, at what point of their day are they, are they training this? I'll just put it in admin chat. You should look up something like where they troll each other. <laughs> like, the trolls that Jake Paul's been doing ever since. No, I'm going to watch them punch each other. <laughs> it's, uh, you're going to have to skip to the ad. It'll probably have an ad. It's the first video down. What Jake Paul does, he said. I had to add on, I had to deal with some ad on my, when I clicked on it. That's Tommy Fury's father. Mm hmm. <laughs> Look like Tyson. Look like he barely even throwing a punch. Well, that's what I'm saying. Who knows at what point in the day, like, you know. But. There's a lot of videos of them shit talking. Or. A lot of videos on that site. I just just found it by accident. <laughs> uh, um, Tommy. I don't want to put Jake Paul down because do it with my ass. Like, no doubt. But. Oh, right. Did you hear? Did you hear? Uh, yeah, seriously. Joe Rogan was going in on fucking Portnoy the other day on his podcast because he had Portnoy on his podcast. Right. And he's like, hey, yo, 
I don't know what the fuck you think, but Tommy's a, gen- a legitimate fighter. And Dave Portnoy's like, no, he's not. He's fucking trash, right? Like, could not believe it. Jake Paul versus a real boxer. Bisbing, how will Jake Paul fare against a real boxer, Tommy Fury, rather than fighting old UFC fighters? Yeah. Uh, It appears Morgan confronts Tommy Fury on losing to Jake Paul. I want to see what Bisbing says. It's it's got 10 minutes. All right, it is finally happening. Jake Paul. Bisbing is, he knows. A boxer. For the first time in his life, for the first time in his boxing career, and wait for it, it's someone that isn't an old age pensioner. It is someone that is in their prime, that is young, and also that is his size. I am, of course, talking about Tommy Fury. Now, granted, this fight was booked twice before, and it wasn't Jake's fault. I'm having a laugh there. I'm being silly. So no offense, Jake. And when I say no offense, Jake, um, me and Jake went back and forth. I'm not going to reveal the details, but he came at me on Twitter, shot me a private message. We went back and forth. It went on for a while. There were some nasty things said, but we left it in a good place. I'm like, come on, Jay. Come on, buddy. I don't know you. I just want you to fight someone your size and somebody in your sport because so far he hasn't done that. But as I say, Tommy Fury... Oh, right. He didn't fight Deji. He fought Anderson Kidd. He's a similar age. He is a boxer. He's in his prime. Now, granted, he's a novice boxer as well. So this kind of makes sense for both guys. You know, Jake Paul, he's 5-0 and or 6-0, and I'm not sure. I think it's 6-0, and 6-0, and 4 KOs, and Jake is 26 years old. Tommy Fury is 8-0, and 4 KOs, 23 years old. So a younger man, and of course, we all know he's Tyson Fury's half-brother. Now, half Jake's brother. last four opponents, the reason I say that, and I wonder, I'm what, I'm I wonder what the mom uh, looks like in the different situations. Mean. Jake's last four opponents are age 47. <laughs> Cause I'm sorry, man, but one is one is uh one is gigantic fucking monster of a man, and the other one's like this chiseled Adonis. You know what I'm saying? Like, what does the mother look like in the different one? The father's the same. Tommy looks just like his mother, I bet. In Anderson Silva, 39 in Tyrone Woodley, twice in a row, and then Ben Askren at 36. All right, look at that. Anderson Gibb, 24 years old. Nate Robinson was 36. So Anderson Gibb was the YouTuber that he fought. First fight. They were both completely just YouTube boxers at that time. First thing. Nate Robinson, that was his second YouTube event fight. Ben Askren, he was a, a fighter. Right? He was fucking... UFC? UFC guy. Yeah. He was a Bellator champion. Tyron Woodley, middleweight champion, UFC guy. Anderson Silva. Was he middleweight? I don't know, but he was good. I mean, he was good 20 years ago. Middleweight in the other class. Middleweight, light, heavyweight, maybe? I think he might have been light heavyweight and a middleweight. I think it was both. I think he did middleweight first and then went to light heavyweight. He was a wrestler who could, with respect... Punch is well of a wet paper bag. Yeah, fucking Sorry, look at him. Love you, buddy, and I hope you're well. But this fight has been booked. Yeah, nobody twice even cares before. that Ben. So ben. there's literally two years of back and forth, two years of shit talk, two years of promo material between them. Now, last time out, Tommy Fury pulled out because he said he had a rib problem, a broken rib, and a chest infection, so a double whammy. If you remember Tyron Woodley, that's when he stepped up on short notice and got caught with that massive right hook, and it wasn't fake. Tyron Woodley did not throw the fight. It was a tentative performance from both men, Um, and then that massive right hook from Jay Paul flatlined him, put him to sleep, so so well done to Jay for that. Fair play. But (laughs) finally, once and for all, we get to see Jake Paul stepping up and fighting somebody that he should do. You know, and I've been critical about his matchups before, but fair play, fair play. You know, I won't talk crap about this one. Yes, it's been matched up before and it fell through, but that wasn't Jake's fault. It was actually Tommy's fault, you know, or maybe was it Tommy's fault? Whatever. For whatever reason, it didn't go ahead. Now, this one going down February 25th, and it's most likely going to be in Saudi Arabia. Okay, now, as we know, those Saudis, very wealthy country, throwing around a lot of money right now. They're Saudi, attracting all okay. the big fights, all the big boxing events, and, uh, yeah, they pay astronomical money. So, Jake <laughs> Paul and Tommy Fury probably got to make a lot of money off this one. But interesting to point out that this fight will not be happening on Showtime, okay? All of Jake's other fights, apart from the early ones in Triller, the last few anyway, have been on Showtime, but apparently... 
the pay-per-views were not what they hoped it would be. The Anderson fight apparently bombed massively, uh, and then the two Tyron Woodley fights didn't wow, really, really perform. I think the first one did okay, but the second one didn't. So uh, now, yeah, well, this that is makes more than perfect gonna be, sense. Well, we don't know, but ESPN, ESPN have shown a lot of interest, and they are interested in having this fight on ESPN pay-per-view going down live. From Saudi Arabia. The thing is, bro, is everybody's stealing the fucking fight. Nobody's watching nobody's them, paying for the fucking fight, bro. I don't know what they need to do to change. You know what they need to do? They need to... Not make it so goddamn expensive? No, more so than that. They need to put one-minute ad breaks in, in the middle and make those fucking ad breaks expensive, right? And, like, pick up the fight immediately... Right at the one minute, don't show us the fucking guy talking to his corner until after the fight's over. Right, like give us an unedited version on YouTube after. Right, where, where it's or on, not like on demand, like yeah, or on like, demand or, or on like demand. A, a something. Right, but like give us the live version with commercials, best you can. You know what I'm saying? Like make it expensive. Do what you got to do to make it free and fucking nobody's going to yeah. fucking steal it and you're not going to be getting what the fucking NFL's doing or the MLB is doing <laughs> what are they doing commercials you know, they don't show you <laughs> Leave like, it, but like, it's like, it's like, not the, the same thing game, man. They don't show you... no no but like baseball when when they're in between innings they don't show you fucking players just tossing a ball in between each other and a guy in the fucking bullpen warming up i know but they also don't they don't normally have commercials in fights because it's a very you know, quick. Like yeah, one minute, quick, yeah. right? You don't want to fucking. It's not wrestling. You don't fucking put a commercial on during fucking WCW Nitro. When I was growing up, commercials would be on all the time. I'd be like, fuck. There was a lot of commercials back then. All right, this weekend, the yeah. first UFC pay per view event of the year is being King Sportsbook. UFC is quite. The specimen, oh, it really is very tall. Yo, that was that wasn't even a commercial. That was a built-in because people have premium YouTube. Look, I have premium YouTube, uh, so that was a built-in ad. Like he fucking edited that in. Oh yeah, they have like they do that they shit now where they edit because yeah, people... yeah, DraftKings will pay them. Yeah, you can't skip yeah. it. Long only twenty-three years old, uh, eight and O. Oh. But when I first saw Tommy Fury fight. I thought, wow, this guy's too. really good. This guy's got something. Mm -hmm. This guy's going to go a long way. Certainly when you look at the lineage, when you look at who his father is, but more importantly, who his brother is. Tyson Fury, one of the best heavyweights we've seen in history. Right, The boxing ability of Tyson Fury is ridiculous. And of course, that's his brother. Similar coaches, his father at the helm. Old John Fury talks like this. He'll fight any man in the world, don't you know? Uh, so you think he's going to be good. But then I saw him <laughs> fight when Jake Paul fought Tyron Woodley first. And who knows, maybe it was just a bad night at the office, but I think he fought, yeah, he did. Anthony Pretty Boy Taylor, that went down in Ohio. And I didn't like the fight. I didn't like it. I didn't think it was a good performance from either man. And I thought that Tommy Fury didn't look very good. And I thought to myself then, well, is that because I'm putting too much stock? Is that because the people that he fought and he beat, where he looked impressive, were absolute bums? And Anthony Pretty Boy Taylor was a step up? That is a real potential. That is a real potential. Or because maybe it's because Anthony Pretty Boy Taylor is an MMA guy and he was a wrestler. So his stance is a little off. His shot selection and the rules of the fight, the rhythm of the boxer is very, very different. So maybe that gave Tommy, you know, a little problem. You know? Who knows? I, I don't need to see any more of this. I am so fucking excited to see it. But what are they going to do about people stealing the fight? That's a good thing to talk about. Like, how are you going to fucking fix that moving forward? People don't want to spend money. You know who those 65,000 people are? The people, that's the upper class. <laughs> that's fucking yeah. the 65,000 people that bought it. Yeah, they the ones that want to just put it on their big screen TV and press. I want to fucking be sitting on the computer looking for something. That's who that is. Yeah, I don't know how they'll do it. I have to be like a membership from this point on, you know? But even at that, people are always going to find a way. No, I mean, they'll find a way regardless, I guess. But it won't be so easy if you make it easy for people to watch for free. Like, yeah, like people aren't going to go looking for a way to skip commercials if you're offering it for free. And you can make a ton of money with that many eyes on it. Think about how many people would just turn on 
the YouTube channel or whatever the fuck. You know, whatever whatever it is. And just crank your ads way up. Maybe, I don't know. I guess it's kind of a bad idea when it comes to, like, the way fights work, you know? Nowadays, people are doing it so risky and doing it in every platform. Like, there's times that like, I go on TikTok and I could watch some of these fucking events. The Hell yeah. Their phone and shit, you know, like, people are going to that extent to, like... <laughs> Just to get people to come to the channel. Exactly. You know, that's crazy. I'm trying to find uh, next guy. There he is. Facts. Let everybody move to YouTube. That'd be the more simpler way. Here we go. I think I did that right. <laughs> you everything for free, but just monetize the channels. It doesn't make sense not to. I, I think, like I said, the the issue is is when they they put in commercials for fights, right? Like commercials for fights. You would get one minute in between the rounds, depending on how long the fight lasted, and then after that, it would be nothing but commercials. Right? Like, so that whole time where they're just filling that air where they're talking, they hardly show anything, like, commercial-wise. They talk about the fight and who's coming next. They show behind the scenes. Right? It's not the same thing. Throw, yeah, throw some ads in the, somewhere. Yeah, you throw some ads somewhere in it. You'll be able to make money. drag it now more to try to make up for the money, I feel like. Right? Because there's, like, like, a couple of events I've seen, like, recently, in my opinion, where there's knockouts first two, three rounds. And it's supposed to go, like, back to back to back, but then they drag those... Well, that's because Little. the fighters aren't ready. Right. They're expecting it to be at certain times when they fight. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that, that would be a perfect time to throw some ads in. That that's that, I think that's how they work in it then. That, depending on people getting knocked out, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> like that's the only way. To... Well, they got well, they got a schedule. Like all right, so like if there's four fights and they go could go however many rounds. What is it? Sixteen rounds. Yeah, the people want to hear the corner man and shit. Like it's part of it all. Seeing that one round watching the guy be tired, right? Like, it's part of the whole thing, like him talking to it. Come on, rock! Like, it's the whole thing. <laughs> You're like, letting him hit you too much. You gotta pop him. Come up. on, rock! <laughs> yeah, but if you have, like, one fight that ends in a knockout, now you have a lot of time you do. to run ads. I agree with you there. That's they what I'm saying. So, like, get the fight done and then have bigger breaks in between the fights where you're playing ads. Make people fucking... Right. Yeah, Pepsi will pay for some shit, or you know, whoever, Prime, whatever the fuck, uh, Jake Paul's energy drink, they could pay for an ad. Even if it is, uh, whatchamacallit, fucking pay per view, still play fucking com commercials. Right? Like, make yeah, people buy it. Bring it in, yeah. <laughs> buy it and then pay for the ads. Because <laughs> <laughs> they still get to watch it live, and it's the only place they can see it, hypothetically. Yeah, facts. <laughs> no, that would probably. I mean, it would probably. If they were to put ads, if they could, but that's the thing. I get it, right? Like, if if the the fight's supposed to go X amount of rounds, right? Everybody's got to be on a time block, and everybody's mentally prepared or you know, getting ready for their time block. So if a if a, if a round ends in a knockout in the second, in, or a fight ends in the in the second round in a knockout, like you can't just be like, all right, everybody, I'm gonna bump you all up an hour. No, right, exactly. Yeah, so it's like you got you got plenty of time to, to do something. That's what they try to do now. At least I feel like. So you could have people talk for that that hour or the half hour, whatever the time is, right? But then you can throw some at like you can throw commercials in there and charge whoever for it. And then essentially, even if you don't make the the event free, instead of sixty bucks, it could be thirty bucks, right? So then maybe more people say, "Ah, oh, fuck it, it's thirty bucks." It's I'll just, you know, hopefully, for them, I'll just pay the thirty bucks instead of going online to find it, because now it's not sixty bucks anymore. Just go to YouTube, make it free for everybody. Uh, do that. There's a way to do it for fights, though. To be honest, now that I think about it. I really don't know if there's a way to do it unless you were to include it with some other kind of, uh, you know, package or something to make it, to make it like intriguing enough to want to do it. It's a strange. That's strange now that I think about it because people don't want to pay for it, but they don't want to see commercials either. Like, yeah, no, they don't. Thank you, Queenie, for the biddies. 
Yeah, you know why? It's because because us, us hardworking people are tired of giving our money away for shit we don't need. Like I don't need to, I don't drink Pepsi. We don't want to pay for a Pepsi commercial. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know what to say. I'm okay, Queenie. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. No matter how many Pepsi commercials you're showing me, I'm diabetic. I ain't drinking that shit. Peeps. Oh, real quick. The premium, the premium Discord. Check it out. If you uh if you're interested in getting involved in the giveaway, the premium giveaway, the shit is fire. Exclamation point premium in the chat if you want to take you to the link. It'll tell you how many subscribers we have, all that. We're going to be pushing our way up to, I think, almost to $150 for the prize next month. Fucking excited, yeah, man. And this Friday is the next giveaway. Yep, this one that's on the screen right here. Can't wait to get my neon sign. Right there, that one. You're going to get the sign if you win? Yeah, that's for sure. Right here, in this spot, it's gonna go right there. You're gonna get it to Grease say. Grease. You're gonna get it to say your no, your name. I'm going big ass SP. Are you really? Yeah, why not? It'd be fire. Dude. You're getting the green screen so you can see, so you can just like scroll it in. Yeah, he's gonna put it right here. I think maybe for the VR streams. I want to put a VR. I think it'll fit perfectly right over here. Just bam, mm. bam. Just send it to me now. <laughs> If I was a medic, I still die, eat or drink whatever I want. Backing out. Plus, I did. I hear you win money. No, that's not. I mean, it costs money. To to. Well, yeah. It's technically, you win money. You get a prize. Yeah. More than what you put in. Don't encourage uh, uh, Bo. He does do whatever the fuck he wants. I do. That's why I don't drink soda. Because <laughs> I eat ice cream instead. You drink diet soda, right? Um, I don't drink any soda. I haven't drank soda. But I haven't drank soda since before I was diabetic. I, I did start to drink root beer at one point, and then I stopped. I don't know. I just I stopped drinking soda. Like uh, I drank Sprite uh, in my twenties, and then somewhere in my th early thirties, I started drinking root beer. But like I just stopped drinking soda, like dark soda, like a long time ago, and just have Sprite here and there. I don't know. I just don't care for it. I never really cared for it, unless it was unless it has Jack Daniels in it. That's a lie. <laughs> if there's Jack Daniels, I would do, I used to drink Jack and Coke a lot. That's the only time I would drink Coke. Save, I respect it. I respect Save it. your money, Queenie. I love you. We love you. Yo, send the ninety-eight strong. Let's fucking go. I know it's crazy. Fire, bro. Hey, hey. Um, thank you everybody t uh, for tuning in tonight. We are on our way to Depraved Soul, and uh, we're going to head on out. We're going to see what he's doing. Want to give it away to me? <laughs> right? All right, guys. Have a good one. Have a good one, everybody. <laughs>